what, what the haters talking about. Yeah. What's up, family? A woman who died after being set afire by her boyfriend will testify at his murder trial from beyond the grave. Judy Malinowski, 33, died in August 2017, two years after being torched by her then-boyfriend Michael Slager outside a gas station near Columbus, Ohio in June 2015, but recorded a video in the hospital before she lost her fight for her life. Slager goes on trial for her murder in July. And in a rare move, a judge has allowed the interview Malinowski gave from her hospital bed to be heard by the jury. The judge ruled this on Friday. The mother of two suffered burns to 80% of her body and clung to life in a hospital for two years. Slager was charged with assault and was due to go on trial in 2016. Malinowski recorded her video testimony for his court case from her hospital bed. Slager's attorney tried to stop the tape from being used by citing a legal technicality. They claimed it was improperly obtained by prosecutors, but the judge allowed it anyway on the grounds that it is an unprecedented case where the victim is able to give evidence after their own death. Malinowski also spoke to the media from her hospital bed before she died. Although she could barely speak, she managed to say, I never knew that a human being could be so evil. He just stood there and did nothing. After her death, Ohio passed Judy's Law, which added six years onto the sentence of anyone convicted of an assault, which permanently maimed their victim. Malinowski lost both of her ears and two fingers in the attack and was left with open wounds on her back and buttocks. She underwent 56 surgeries before she died. She suffered damage to her throat and she was never able to walk again after the attack. Another classic case of a seemingly good girl swept off her feet by a sweet talking loser. Hey, man, I know they say you can't judge a book by its cover, but damn. Dude look like evil, man, for real. Here's another illustration. Whereas it's evident that we don't hurt the people that we love. We hurt the people that we should love. This is crazy, man. Like, you, no way possible would somebody do somebody they love like that. See, a lot of these people, they don't have any idea of what love is. A lot of this stuff that they these people caught up in is just lust. And it's also control, possession. I want to own something. It's mine. You see, people don't understand they don't own human beings. That's my girlfriend, as long as she say she my girlfriend. That's how it go. That's your boyfriend, as long as he say he your boyfriend. He can tell you, I'm your boyfriend, you know, you my girlfriend tonight. And five minutes later, I don't want nothing to do with you no more. Go to hell, you know, y'all know how it go. This dude was a straight up sucker. A first class grade A sucker. I can't have you, so I don't want nobody else to have you. I'm going to disfigure you. There's a hell. It would be justice if he went in gasoline draws. His mama should be embarrassed and his daddy should have pulled out. No more talk. What the haters talking about? Yeah.